God and country by two outstanding. I describe them as brave women of steel, courageous, industrious, and enterprising. They have dedicated the best years of their lives to composing and singing Evergreen's music that inspires and gives hope from one generation to another. I refer to the beautiful duo, Lydia, the day Yossi, May Tego, and then Elizabeth, Coco Tego. Indeed, 40 years of God's glory and favor, the theme for the celebration is very, very, very appropriate. Like the Tego sisters, we have all had our captivity in Babylon moments. That fatal accident in 1990 was one such moment for them, as they took the life of their spiritual father and manager, the Reverend Francis Akusiamwako, the founder and general overseer of the Resurrection Power and Living Bread Ministry, and caused the system to sustain varying degrees of injuries. The trauma of this tragedy could have left them to give up music completely, but it did not. On the contrary, we were spurred on and buoyed by it and continue to be a blessing and a light to the world. In the 1990s, I remember the majority of Ghanaians looked forward every year to the launch of their latest album because they were guaranteed music that touched the soul and drew one closer to God. Tonight's dinner and fundraising event is a precursor to the 15th October Grand Concert, which will be held at the Accra International Conference Center over the last decade, the Tego Sisters have been embarking on worthy causes of supporting single parents with twins so they can have a decent life, attend school, and pay for medical bills. They also undertake some developmental projects in the society. And I urge members of the creative arts industry to emulate this legacy of the Tego systems and also embark on humanitarian activities in support of the needy and less privileged in society. The goal tonight is 10 million CDs and I appeal to all of us gathered here to donate to the sustenance of this initiative. On my part I have a, a widow's mite of 100,000 CDs to kick off the evening. <laughs> to end, I want to assure you and all Ghanaians that as is increasingly becoming evident, we're turning the corner on our economy. Our nation shall be fully restored. And like the Tego sisters, we shall all say, Yedinkunim, Yediako. May <laughs> God bless you, the Tango sisters, and that's all. May God bless our homeland, God, and make us great and strong. Thank you. How did you Thank you very much, Mr. President. Let's appreciate him. He took time out of his busy schedule to be here.
Let the 